Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a three month forecast for the sign of Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be month number one, month number two, and month number three from the date that you watch it. So, say you watch it uh, today, count out 30 days, that's month number one, okay? Then month number two and month number three. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I am a stickler for shuffling on the camera. All of these cards are going to be in the upright this time. Just because uh, I'm an intuitive reader. I always do reversals and I have a hard time not doing them. So if one comes up reversed and I'm called to read it reversed, I, I will. But we are going to see what happens. So what do we have for cancer for month number one? Month number one. So yeah, I'm intuitive. I gotta just look at the card and boom, out it comes. That's how it goes. Upright or reversed. Month number one, what do we got? Cancer. Month number two. Month number two. And month number three. What do we have for Cancer for month number one? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Month number one. Month number two. And month number three for Cancer. Stuff really wants to come out, Cancer. So take that in the message. Take that as a message, and that's why I shuffle on camera. There is stuff. Obviously, you saw it. stuff really wants to come out in the next three months. It's dying to come out. What do we have for Cancer for the next three months? What do we have for month number one? Month number one. Month number two. In month number three. It looks like it's a mess as well. Something is a mess. Month number three. Month number three, please. And an overall energy for the next three months for the sign of cancer. An overall energy for the next three months. We have the Page of Swords. Now, it did come out reversed. So, the Page of Swords reversed is somebody that is stalking another person, watching another person heavily. Same in the upright, really. But in the reversed, it's obsessive. Okay? So, this is um, your overall energy is you may be having a difficult time communicating. This is That's what this is. Um a message you're going to be receiving messages or communication from people that may make you feel conflicted in some way you could be dealing with somebody who is immature or you could be immature it could go either way this is a this is a pages are immature they don't and this one can't communicate effectively so we have we have an issue with communication here. It's like it wants to come out. Okay, it makes sense. Somebody needs to communicate, but they're having a very, very, very hard time doing it. Um, this person looks a little angry. You see the fist. It's like frustrated and upset. So somebody is upset that there's that something isn't happening, but you know it's like they're watching and observing, but they're not doing anything about it. So that is a problem. Um, this is a very curious energy as well. So there's a, there's some sort of curiosity here. Um, 
<laughs> you may you may be discovering something in the next three months. You could be discovering something, but this discovery, whatever it is, may be it could be bring you some sort of conflict because this is some some sort of it's like this is a message you don't want to hear and it has started out like that hasn't it it has this whole reading has started out as a message you don't want to hear that is what this card is community and yin so you may need to get out in your community or your community may be, um, you may need, mean, be needing support from your community. And Yin, this is about a partnership. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups. Ten of Pentacles and the Devil, and the only one that came out reversed was the Queen of Pentacles. Revert. Uh, that one was the one that came out. The rest were upright. Um, so Cancer, I feel as though month number one there is some sort of uh, codependency. This is codependency. This one is too. Libra is a, is very codependent. So you guys are are codependent on something. You may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Libra. Whatever this is, this is about justice. It's about integrity. It's about, uh, there's some sort of karma here as well. So in month number one, this is the end of an idea. Idea. Okay. So it's, it's the end. It's the end of uh, something that has been exhausting you. And this is, this is a final decision as well. So somebody may be, and I mean, if you were to put this reversed, somebody may be uh, taking something away from you, okay? This could be a loss, a loss of something. Um, somebody has made or they are making a final decision. This is the this is the dead end of a this is of a relationship that was unhealthy and toxic. So somebody is making a decision to end something that they were just bound to for all the wrong reasons. I mean that's what this is all the wrong reasons. Um I think that somebody is deciding to do the right thing. They have let death. This is a card of ego, and this is a card of ego. So ego has been in the way of of obtaining security and stability. But somebody may have engaged themselves in something that was financially stable, but there was no wish fulfillment there. There was no happiness there. There's definitely codependency here. Somebody's been trying to balance out. It's like love with with uh, stability, but this is unhealthy. There's unhealthy. This is an obsession of some sort. Obsessed with money. Obsessed with... This is really an obsession. We got somebody here that is obsessed with money. Materialistic things. I want to have it all. But this is a loss because it came out. And we do have somebody here that is obsessed with money. There could be some upcoming legal issues, just saying, with that justice card in month number one. This is, this is, uh, the devil is greed and selfishness. There's issues, there could be, there could be issues over a home. You know, there could be some sort of split or something like that. And now there's a payout over the home. You know, you gotta, maybe somebody needs to move. Somebody could be moving, making a decision to move. This is unhealthy. It's toxic. Somebody could be dealing with somebody who has big addictions. Hmm. 
Let's get some clarifiers. I feel as though I am going to flip this because I think feel like I need to. There's a loss. There is a loss. There's a loss of, you know, something that... It, you may have gotten into it because you thought it was going to lead to stability or you thought it was going to lead to security. But in reality, whoever you're dealing with, they don't have anything to offer you. What is this justice and devil? It's like there's a decision being made to break free from an unhealthy situation. There's a golden opportunity to go through a new door. There's a breakup here. It's taking, there's some, there's a union that is keeping you stuck. It's bringing you backwards. It's bringing you backwards. And you have a bigger opportunity waiting for you to see it, waiting for you to go through that door, waiting for you to take it. But there's a union or a partnership that somebody is engaged in. It's a code for a codependency reason. And they, they, it's like they need to go through the divorce or they need to go through the, the, uh, severing of ties they do they need to sever ties from this unhealthy situation because you got a bigger better opportunity in october this is this is a partnership or a union that is not compatible there's a disconnection it's not love but it's stable right it's stable it's something to have it's something that this is something to hold on to somebody is holding on to something that is not love it's not love but it's something to hold on to there's assets there's assets there. You may live with somebody that you don't love or vice versa, however it goes. And somebody is neglecting to complete a cycle. And this is a karmic, karmic cycle. We definitely have a karmic cycle and somebody needs to learn uh, what is love. What is love? Is love money? Is really, is that what you really think? Do you really think that love is money? Having all those things, that is not, that is not love. Oh God, we have somebody here that is very materialistic and they are, they are tied to somebody just for the assets and that's it. So month number one, we have somebody that here that is stuck in a partnership or a union that is not compatible and they have a bigger, better opportunity, but they're staying in it because of the assets. But there is a bigger opportunity for wish fulfillment. There really, really is. This is a gift. It's like you have something, but you it's, it's above you. You can't see it yet. You can't see it yet because you haven't made the right decision to, and this is end, a partnership that is unhealthy and toxic, toxic that is based on just money. So it's like you're throwing away a bigger, better opportunity. Oh my goodness gracious. So in month number one, you do have, somebody has potential. They have a potential opportunity that they haven't been, that hasn't been brought to them yet. Now you have to follow your heart. You have to open your heart. This is this King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling, very charming, very kind. I have a hard time not doing reversals. This is liberation. This is breaking free. Breaking. Free. I gotta do reversals. I'd like to not do it, but I have to. Anyhow, um, this is. It's just the way it is. It wouldn't be true if I didn't. And and that's the thing. I I would. It's funny that I started this out the way I did. I'd like it to be all butterflies and roses. I really would. But I can't. And neither can you. And it's time to come out. And this is about speaking the truth. And this is the truth. You need to speak the truth. Somebody is involved. This is a dead end. That is unhealthy. It's toxic. And this is freedom. This is break free. But these both of these tens are reversed. This is somebody who is clinging to control. Holding on to a dead end cycle. It's like this cycle needs to end. There is a partnership here. That is not compatible. That is the truth. That is the truth. It's a karmic contract. And it's like your heart, your heart knows. I think that you are very intuitive. I think that you're not seeing that there's another opportunity. There is a big opportunity behind you. You can't see it. It's like you're focused on the pain. You're focused on your money. Okay, you are. And you're reluctant to complete this cycle. So 10, 10, 10. 
10, 10, 10. You got three tens. Two of them are reversed. There is a cycle that needs to complete. It's a karmic cycle and it is about justice. It's about integrity. It's about doing the right thing. It's about making the right choices and, and choosing love over materialism. Choose love over your heart. I mean, choose your heart and love over materialism, over lust, over greed, over obsessions, over possessions. Choose love over a codependent relationship that is based on things. So cancer, I feel you could be dealing with a Capricorn and this could go, it could be the person that you are dealing with. You could be dealing with a person who is choosing, you know, making the wrong choice. Somebody is making the wrong choice by holding on to a union or a partnership that is totally based on all the wrong things. And I feel as though there is an opportunity, a golden opportunity that you just can't see. It's behind you. You can't see it. Because you've got to break free from this. You've got to break free from this cycle. It's like you keep repeating this cycle over and over and over again. Not, not seeing the truth. Not accepting the truth. Not aware. Somebody is not seeing a situation clearly. That is the meaning of this card. Somebody is totally not awake. There's an opportunity to work together with somebody else. I feel as though you are unaware that you, it's like you, they have something for you. This is a gift. But you gotta, you gotta throw away something first. Somebody is engaged in a toxic situation that is really unhealthy. It's just based on having this is something, but it's not love. It's not love. And it's like, you have a big heart. You deserve to be loved. Why would you, why would you give yourself away to somebody that isn't meant for you? It's not meant for you. The wheel reverse. It's not meant for you. Because it's... It, it's uh, stable, right? It's stable. It is stable. But there's no, no compatibility. It's unrequited love. So I think in October or month number one, you'll be making a decision. This is, this is making a, a decision based on logic. I think you, you know, you haven't been seeing situations, the situation clearly, but maybe you start to, maybe you go through some awakening and you realize and that, that you have to make, look at the look on it. You have to make a difficult decision. You have, this is about law and order. You have to do what's right. So I think that this month that you are going to be making a decision, cancer. And I think what's going to happen is I feel like you are going to cut out this unhealthy situation. I feel like you're going to follow your heart and you're going to cut out whoever this is. I feel like this breaking free is going to open you up to working for somebody else or working with somebody else. I don't know if you're dealing with a painter because I just happen to know the painting, painting, or an artist, or somebody is an artist here. Somebody creates something beautiful. It's like you have an opportunity to get exactly what you want, but you have to make a decision. This is a decision. To act with integrity and cut out people in situations that are just based on things. I think you guys are going to be making a logical decision and it's not going to be an easy one. One more card. Yeah, you guys are definitely making some moment you guys are making a decision and you're choosing something else. So I feel like you guys are break cutting cutting yourself 
this is cutting the cords. Cutting. This is cutting cutting cords. I'm serious. Breaking free from the chains. This is breaking breaking the chains. I think that you guys are going to be breaking chains with somebody that was is based on illusion. This is an illusion. It's like you're coming out of confusion. Yes, you've been confused, but I think that you're receiving with that thing, the King of Swords. You're you're receiving some sort of clarity by the end of October. It's like you're gonna know what you need to do. It's like your intuition is gonna give you the message, and I think you're gonna. You're, you're going to go towards somebody else or somebody else is going to come towards you and you're going to be working with somebody else. I see in October that this is removing baggage. That's what the fool is. The fool is, is leaving all the baggage behind and starting from scratch, starting with a clean slate, starting over on your... So, yeah, you guys are, are removing something that is unhealthy from your life that is just based on assets or something to hold on to. And I think that you know you're going to realize that there's got to be something bigger. There is something bigger, and it's like they have it for you. They're just waiting for you to to take that leap of faith. They're waiting for you to take that leap. They're waiting for you to take that risk. They're waiting for you to remove that baggage and start over. And this is an exciting time because I feel like you are really leaving something behind in October. So let's read this one. So October is a month of realizing. Coming out of confusion. Coming out of uh, illusion. Uh, making a decision, you know, based on a situation that isn't love, realizing that whoever you're dealing with is, is just for codependency. It's just to have something to hold. And I think your heart is saying, I want it. I want to have it all. I want to have it all. And I think that with this nine of cups and this ace of you, it's like you have an opportunity to have it all. You really do, but you, it's, but you can't see it right now. You can't because behind you. So you, it's like they have an opportunity. You can have it all. But you have to make some sort of decision first in regards to, you know, what you're holding on to that doesn't serve you, that is toxic, that is unhealthy, that is based, that you're holding on to for codependent reasons. Community. Let me just bring that down a little bit. Community. Seek like-minded people. Be true to yourself. And yet, and you haven't been. You have not been. And if you're coming here looking for fantasy, <laughs> you know it's the wrong channel. All those readers that, that sell you fantasy should be ashamed of themselves. Wake up. Most of our education is provided through our community connections. We learn from our families, social circles, local school groups, and workplace. Having a strong sense of community gives our life meaning and purpose. You may have felt like you were adopted at birth, struggling to fit in with other people. Sometimes feeling alone and isolated has made it difficult to connect with people on a personal level. Struggling with this has created an avenue for abusive relationships or seeking approval from others instead of just being yourself. You don't need to change your personality to fit someone else's mold. Learn to love your differences and, and you will shine brighter than any star in the galaxy. Find your tribe. Your spirit tribe or soul tribe consists of people who understand you and love you without conditions. And I see you working with other people. I saw it right here. <clears throat> Creating connections with like-minded people brings meaningful communication to your life. Don't be afraid to stand out. Now is the time to celebrate your differences. That's what makes you unique after all. Celebrate your uniqueness. Live your authenticity. Soul connections make strong and powerful relationships. Community participation is encouraged now. Engaging in community activities, volunteering for charity work, or emergency services provides a sense of purpose. 
Community partnerships involving family and friends are important right now. Join a group or organization that interests you and that will bring benefit from your skills and experiences. Find your sense of community spirit. Take time to understand the world in which you live. Gain understanding in human behavior. Connect to your own tribe now. It's time. It's time. It, you need to break free from this unhealthy situation. It's like you're with the wrong people. It's funny that I said that. What I said a minute ago. Be careful who you watch. Be careful who you follow. Do they have your best interest at heart? Do they? Or are they looking to make money? The longer you are stuck, it's like the more people can benefit from you. Be careful. Yin. The feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available for you. And you are, you have something available for you. There's no doubt about it. Something big, but you can't see it. You have to, you have to start from scratch. You have to start over. You can't bring whatever it is that you have been bound to with you on this new chapter, this new journey. And there's reluctance, big reluctance here. It's like, I, 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 I refuse to let go of control. And if you can't let go of control, then you are blocking your own fortune. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You guys are blocking good fortune. You're blocking a golden opportunity. You're blocking the opportunity to have it all. By holding on to a, a union or a partnership that... is based on materialism. That's what I got. It's based on something to have. If you are single... If you are single, it's like you, you're not, you, you have to completely break free from that. You have to sever the ties. You have to cut the cords, do a cord cutting, do whatever you've got to do. You have to sever cords with somebody that is not healthy for you because you haven't told the universe yet that you are ready. You also could be meeting somebody out in your community. If you are single, you could go out, you go, you join some group, you join some event and you meet somebody in your community. This is somebody that, um, is going to come to you. This is somebody that you can have a new beginning with, but you have to be free from that baggage first. You have to remove the toxic debris, whatever it is that you're holding on to. New friends, new people, new tribe. Those people don't support you. They, they fill you up with fantasy bullshit. They ain't your friends if they're doing that.
They're not your friends. Month number two. Month number two for Cancer, Divine Consciousness, time to go. This one was reversed, we're going to leave it reversed, we're just going to take them as they come out. Nine of pen I got to do it that way, it's just the way it is like it to be all butterflies and roses but that's not reality and I would be just like those other readers selling you a fantasy even though you know I'd, I'd like to be able to do that I have a really hard time with it anyhow um, I do I do um, I just can't do it <laughs> I can but I can't it's not right it's not the right thing to do anyhow um, month number two this is severing ties so by the end of October or the end of month number one into the beginning, you will be severing ties with somebody. You will be. Because you got a new opportunity. You will see the new the opportunity that you did not see at month number one will really be visible in month number towards the end of month number one, the beginning of month you will see it. And you're going to be letting something go. You are going to be letting something go. You may be, some of you could be going your own way. You're giving up on the money. You're giving up on holding on to that just for the financial reasons, right? You are. It's like, fuck the money. I, and you're going to be abundant. You're going to have plenty of money. You have plenty anyway. You will have plenty. You will be self-sufficient. You will be um, respected for the decision that you make. that you make. Put it that way. So this is an independent person who is doing very well on their own. This is a business owner, somebody that is very self-sufficient, knows their value, knows their worth, and can do anything by themselves. So it's like, I'm it. I, I don't need anybody. So I think that, you know, you guys are holding on to an unhealthy situation the month before. And it's like, like I said, you're going to wake up and you're going to let it go. And then the next month, you are moving forward very, very quickly. And it looks like you probably will have this new uh, exciting opportunity in month number two. It's like you see it. It's like, oh, there it is. Oh, my God. This is this is exciting. Very exciting. This is a new partner. Um, this is a new vision. This is a new creation. You will be creating something. So, And it's going to be victorious. This is triumphant news or something happening very, very fast. So something in month number two is going to happen very fast. It's very exciting. This could be a new sexual partner or whatever it is. It's it's this is a match. It's it's gonna be it's gonna light you right up. You are gonna be so glad that you severed those ties when I told you to. Whatever they are, you know what they are. You know what they are. So once you sever those ties, you got a passionate new beginning here. This is this is this is uh wow. That's what I, that's all I can feel is like, wow, I am so glad that I, I took my own path. I am so glad that I went my own way. Um, whoever you're dealing with, whoever that you are, let me clarify this King of Pentacles. I want to know if this is a new person or if this is the old person. This is seizing a new opportunity after severing ties. Now, I don't know if you're severing ties with this person or if this is the person that is coming into your life. Let's see, what is this person? This person doesn't have a lot of money. Somebody doesn't have a lot of money. They're not very stable. Secure. Maybe that's who you're severing ties from. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. But they have a big heart. They have a big heart. So is I think that this is a complete change. And that makes sense. And that's why that came, that message came out for October. Don't choose money over love. You will continue to learn karmic lessons if you do that. Don't don't be desperate. And it doesn't have to just be money. It could, some people are so desperate that they will take anybody because it's somebody to have and to hold, right? 
you may not be the one for me. There may could be the two of cups reversed and the other one. It's like you, you, you may not be attractive to me or you may not be the one, but at least it's something to hold. And I saw that. This person that is coming into your life isn't rich. They don't have a lot of money, but they have a very, very, very big heart. And you will think about if this is worth it. You will be thinking, is it worth it? Is this really worth it? Should I invest my time in this? Will this grow? You may be even creating something. I mean, you could be investing in a new, this could be even a work thing. Maybe you're deciding to start your own business for some of you. If you do decide to start your own business, you follow your heart, you get creative, your intuition tells you that you, uh, maybe it's, because remember we saw art or painting in the previous one? If you paint or you do something artistic, this may be the month that you start a new business and it would definitely grow. But it's going to be, yeah, you may not, you may think that you don't need, you don't have the money. This could go, no, I'm going a different route. You may think that you don't have the money or you may think that it won't grow. But if you nurture it and you water it and you put in effort, it will grow. It will grow. So if you get come up with some creative idea towards the end of October, this could be work related. It could be you come up with some creative idea. I'm just telling you that you have the skills, you have the knowledge, you have the know-how to be abundant. It may take you years, but it will be successful. It will be successful. So if you come up with some new idea that has to do with your art, I suggest you do it. Okay. Anyway, let's go back because I like to focus these on love. We know that we do. You may feel like you may feel like you don't have enough money or you don't have enough resources, but let your heart lead the way. As long as you do this wor this work, whatever it is with heart, you will be successful. You're going to be presented with a new opportunity that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you that is going to pay off after you put in effort. If you don't put in effort, it won't. It will be completely up to you. So that has to do with uh, a new job or something like that. But I think it's your own job. It's your own business. It's you're doing your own thing. It's like you're not working for somebody else. You're working for yourself. Just saying. It is time to leave something behind. And I think that you know that. You're severing ties with something. Whether it's a job or it's a person. You are absolutely severing ties. And you are going through an awakening, which we saw at the end of that last month. It's the end of discontent. It's the end of boredom. You may, you may lose some income. Maybe you kick somebody out or somebody leaves or something happens and you lose some sort of money. But your heart is going to be fulfilled. Whatever this is, your heart is going to be where it needs to be. And when you act with your heart, you receive blessings. And that is the truth. You may be relocating to a, a sunnier place, a warmer place. You may be thinking about it. Um, I think that you will, you're going to get some sort of vision. You're going to get some sort of vision. This is a, like a new, uh, well, it's a, this is a vision. You're going to get a vision and I'm telling you what, it's create, 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 create. You are going to be creating something this month that could really, it's like blow up. It could blow up in the long term. If you are single, you may have a very, if you are a single male watching this, okay, you, or the single masculine, even if there's, if this is the same sex relationship, whatever, if you are the single masculine, you are going to have a very attractive female that is, um, this person may be helping you. This person may, she may be a creator. She may be help. You may be working together with this person. Um, if you are the single female, you are probably going to have a man that has a really big heart. This person is charming. This person is kind. This person is, um, very romantic that comes into your life. I think that you too can create a beautiful masterpiece 
And I think that um, maybe you even move it, move together. Maybe you move to a, a, a warmer place together. I see warmth here and movement, like moving together someplace else um, for some of you. Uh, for some of you, you'll be working on your image. You know, your especially if you're the feminine, you'll be working on your image. Your image will be improving. You could be losing weight. Um, or the, if you are the male, you could be dealing, you could, you could have a, I think there's definitely a very beautiful woman here, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with. This person is very attractive, very creative, very fiery. If you are the man, watch, if you are the masculine watching this, um, Don't lose hope. Don't don't lose hope. You you will get the love that you deserve. You will get the love that you deserve. I feel like who you may be losing hope. You may be losing hope. You may be dealing with a woman who has these great visions and she's moving so fast to make them happen that you may you may think you know why, why should i even invest in this person if, if this is a masculine when she's moving so fast she's she you knows so you may be losing hope in a woman that is really investing in her job she's following her dreams she's following her dreams and you may feel like your dreams are be are not coming to fruition because she's moving so fast But I feel like you there's an opportunity to uh, be happy with this person, you know, have fun with this person. If you have not met this person yet, you will you uh, will meet this person out socializing. You will have fun with this person. I think there would be really if you you know there'd be some sort of uh, sexual attraction. I feel like. Um, if you you can this could be a friend of a friend of a friend you may meet this person through your friends through the community for sure but you're going to feel stuck you're going to feel stuck you're going to feel like you're not sure if you should invest in this person because this person is vibrating on this person is moving so fast now if this is you you may be moving too fast and you need to slow down just saying somebody is definitely moving fast because I keep saying it and I feel like we have somebody here that is losing hope feeling stuck this person is out having fun they're socializing they're investing in us many things getting prepared getting prepared for the future and you need to get prepared as well. If you are not prepared, be prepared because something is arriving that you asked for. You may think if 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 you may feel like if you may feel like hopeless, okay? If you are this this king of cups who has a really big heart and you have severed ties with the unhealthy situation the month before, don't lose hope. Because maybe by the third week the third week of the th of the second month something is going to arrive okay third week of the second month whatever this is it's going to be hotter than hell okay it is going to be hotter than hell um it's going to make you very 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 excited put it that way If you are the female watching this, you will be you will be uh, looking hotter than hell. Okay, if you are the female watching this, you are gonna be like hotter than hell. You're gonna you're gonna be out having fun, and this King of Cups is gonna come towards you. And this King of Cups could be any sign. It could be this is a man with a big heart that is looking for love. So month number two, we are going to read Time to Go first. Sorry, just changed the battery. 
Month number two. Time to go. Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. And this is at the end of October into November or end of month number one into the beginning of the next one, which I was pretty sure about anyway. You are at the end of one journey, have not, be, you've not yet begun the next, and, but you've been blocking it with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. <clears throat> and and you, it's time to come out. And I'm not, it's time to come out. Anyhow, um, take stock of what you have learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in, in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Relationship message. It's over. Or at the very least, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go. Of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. We already talked about this. This is just a carryover from the, from the month before. Once you sever ties and you go your own way, things are going to get lit. But you have to make the decision. Remember the justice was up here. You have to make the decision to do so. Otherwise you are stuck and you are going backwards. And you don't get your fortune. You don't get your good luck. The wheel of fortune reversed is bad luck. Shit will continue to fall apart until you make that decision that is best for your heart. Don't hold on to somebody just because it's something to hold on to. You will lose money that way. You will, you will not be happy. <laughs> don't do it. Please don't do it. You need new people. It's pretty damn clear. The people that... It's like people are filling you up with bullshit and you're listening to them. It's funny that I've said that to you. It is. It's like you're listening to people when you shouldn't be. Anyhow. Divine Consciousness. Working with divine consciousness, we can open ourselves up to deep thought and meaning that cannot be described in normal language. It is felt and expressed with the heart and higher self. Peace, bliss, divine power, and unlimited expansion awaits you when you consciously connect at this level. Between soul and spirit, it is possible to connect our inner being to divine consciousness. Divine consciousness enables us to open our mind to different states of reality and communication. Right now, you are experiencing an awakening. Congratulations. You are raising your consciousness and are, and are energetically shifting. Your divine blueprint has been activated into a new state of awareness. You may feel oversensitive. But it will soon pass as you adjust to this new vibration. You are now connected to the healing energy of the divine. Miracles can occur now if you keep a positive mindset. Archangel Gabrielle supervises these transitions as you become connected in mind, body, and spirit. Being connected to the divine consciousness aligns you with your divine purpose, grows and expands your spirit, encouraging you to remember who you were before you came into being. You are encouraged to meditate to remove yourself from earthly dramas, gossip, and physical issues. Be gentle with yourself, eat nutritious food, drink enough water, and get plenty of rest. By connecting to a state of consciousness higher than our mind's physical awareness, we eliminate impurities and toxicity within the body. Spirit, higher thought forms, angelic connections, and animal messages will come clearly now. What I just heard while I was reading this is by the third week of the second month. That's going to be the most pivotal point for you. So the third week of the second month, it's a, that's when things light up. My stomach is going nuts. That's when things change drastically. That's when um, 
you come out of this mental prison. That's that's when you get what you've wished for. It's like all of a sudden, and it's very sudden. It is very. It's like a sudden. It's your. It's your sudden uh, gift. Okay. It's like, and you may be shocked by it. You may be shocked. It's like suddenly something arrives the third week of November. And it's something that you have been getting prepared for. But getting prepared includes severing ties with something. That's part of getting prepared. So if you are that cancer that is watching this and you are not severing ties with the toxicity in your life, then this reading is not for you. And you will not receive anything that third week of November. So you know what this is, and I'm just here because I ain't fluffy. I'm here to give you the truth. And this may be a message that you don't want to hear. There is something that needs to be cut out of your life to receive this opportunity that will really grow into something positive. It will grow. It's something that you have asked for. You're losing hope. You don't think it's ever going to come. Well, it's not going to come until you take action. You can't keep going with these same people. These people that don't really support you. They're not really your friends. They're not really the people that love you. They're not. You need a new tribe. You need new people. Anyhow, Cancer, I feel like some of you are going to be moving as well. Some of you are going to be moving, like literally packing up and moving. Moving, moving, moving. These All three of these cards could be relocation. And it's scary. It is scary. It's like leaving everything behind. Month number three. My stomach is going nuts. I do apologize. My stomach is whatever it is with this. I don't eat hardly ever anymore. But I'm not hungry, but apparently I am. But anyhow, month number three. Freedom! freedom and that look, kind of looks like the chariot card doesn't it also yin and yang look at that this is about duality positive negative right wrong left right up down opposites hmm. the tribe <laughs> oh the tribe imagine that shit wow freedom from your old tribe and that's what that is wow paint knight of pentacles reverse six of wands reverse three of swords reverse strength reverse the death reverse and five of pentacles up right right now this is actually okay this is healing healing from something Abandoning. This is abandoning. Leaving behind the dead end. Leaving behind the dead end. No victory and success. Nothing there to offer. So month number three. You're you're at a standstill. You're at a standstill. Unable to master your emotions. Because you, it's have, or somebody's having a hard time. They're having a hard time. This is this is insecure. Letting their insecurities holding on to a dead end. Well, son of a bitch. Oh my god. But this is healing. This is healing. Forgiveness. But this is resisting change. No victory and success because somebody can't master their emotions and find their strength to let go. Oh my God. 
who which is stalling it's it's blocking therefore you don't receive you don't receive if you don't let go you are not going to receive So this is seeing the truth, month number two. This is seeing the truth, coming out of denial, receiving something, receiving, somebody's going to give you something that is going to help you. They're going to help you to move on. This is reevaluating. Six is a reevalu. You're going to be reevaluating again. Still in month number three. You think too much, Cancer. If you could just sever those ties, unbelievable. It's really hard, isn't it? It is really hard. Six, six, six. Get your life back on track. When you see six, 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 that's what it means. Choices. It's time for reevaluation again. The sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. But to take that, you actually have to take the journey. Sixes are also a spiritual wake up call. But sixes are also, I mean, they're materialistically focused. So if you are really focused on your materialism, I mean, we got a fucking problem here. We do. We do. So you're really focused on receiving that pentacle. <laughs> Ego and pride right here. There could be a loss. There could be a loss because there's there's no victory in success. You're gonna you could be abandoned. You could be left behind because you're too focused on your money. You're too focused. You could be, be cut loose at your job. Just saying. Because that's the way the universe works. You mean you, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, there's a lack of happiness here. Hmm. This is freedom as well. So you guys are going to be cut free from something. Maybe you don't, you can't make the decision because you're not strong enough. No offense. I'm being honest with you. I don't, I don't, I'm being honest. Somebody's not strong enough. They can't, you're being told to the previous two months, but we have somebody here who's weak. Could be you, could be the other person. We have somebody who is weak that, um, Is holding on to a uns the death reversed, holding on to an unsuccessful situation, blocking, blocking, blocking success, blocking success. Four of Wands reversed. It's like there's there's no happiness here. Somebody is being ghosted or left behind. Five of Pentacles. Somebody is being left behind. Somebody is getting out of a commitment. Whether it's a work commitment or it's a relationship. Somebody is being... I think if you don't cut them loose, they're going to cut you loose. This is seeing the truth about a commitment. Reevaluating the whole situation and moving on. So this is moving on. Been really, really, really heavy. This is heaviness. Somebody is being weighed down, burdened, and overwhelmed. <laughs> Unaware again, somebody refusing to see, not listening to their intuition, not following their gut. This person is, it's, it's like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening, but you're, you're blocking it. You're really putting that wedge. You're, you, it's just like, no, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. So this is a baggage. This is baggage. This is burden. This is overwhelming. Overwhelming. It's time to move on. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Oh, bastard. 
So this is holding on to a false sense of security. It's gonna crumble. What the fuck are you waiting for? I'm sorry, but this is somebody that is really needing to rebuild someplace else. Okay, the universe is going to, if you can't, don't make it happen, then you, the universe is going to make it happen for you. Is that what you want? You're not strong enough? Well, you're going to find your strength thanks to the universe. They are going to break you free from something that is not meant for you, whether you like it or not. And it is going to upset you. You're about to be broken free from something. But if I was you, if you don't want to deal with extra pain, if you don't, if you don't want to deal with this suddenly, I would do it yourself. Otherwise, it's going to be more of a shock. Unaware that this is a disaster. Unaware that this isn't stable. Unaware that this isn't solid. It's false. What? You're just not awakened or you just refuse to open your eyes or somebody has fed you a line of fantasy bullshit and you believe it because it sounds so good. Could have been a false high, high priestess. You could be listening to a reader or a spiritual advisor that is selling you false bullshit. And it's keeping you stuck. It's holding you down. You got to move on. And you need to be awake. Don't live in illusion. This is seeing a situation clearly. Becoming clear. Things are about to clear up for you. They are. There is going to be an uproar and somebody is going to get left behind in month number three. You may not see it coming, but when it happens, you're going to see it completely clearly because it's like they're going to, they're going to clean this right out of your life. <laughs> Whatever it is. And it is going to happen fast. Something is about to be cleared from your life that doesn't serve you. You, you're, you're, you've been, re you've been in denial. Living in some sort of fantasy, but no, mm -mm. you're going to receive some sort of clarity. You're going to go through this spiritual awakening. <laughs> And I think that your gut is going to, is going to tell you, I think that you have been in a state of anxiety and depression. That's what this is. Holding on to a sad situation, holding on to a troublesome situation and it's time to move on. And the universe says, okay. You're not strong enough. You don't have the strength. You're going to hold on to this until you die. I don't think so. It's not meant for you. You may not be aware. You may not see what's coming. But something is coming. You can't see it. You can't, you can't predict it. All is not as it seems. And somebody is absolutely living in fantasy. Living in some sort of illusion. Living a lie. I feel as though month number three, something is going to change drastically for you. And it's beyond your control. You're, you fight it, you fight it, you fight it, and boom! It's over. freedom. Freedom. Free your spirit. Take control of your life now. They are going to be taking control of your life. 
Wild and free, the horse chooses to run in any direction at its own pace. Understand that everything in your life right now is completely within your power to change. Once you cooperate with your soul's request to be free from emotional or physical ties, you become limitless and can run free again. The arrival of the horses brings news of personal journeys in new directions. The white horse brings truth, honor, and integrity, and the dark horse brings the shadow of mystery, pride, and illusions. It's amazing that I have talked about fantasy so much during this reading. You guys really need to come out of fantasy land. Bringing both together to create a yin-yang balance allows you to understand what is preventing your freedom. Follow through with your agreements before you make new commitments. You may feel that you are not in control of your life right now. In fact, you are. You can decide at this moment how to react to the circumstances within your environment. Observe your surroundings and discover what your soul really wants. You already have the power and freedom to choose within you. The question is, which direction do you wish to? wish to run. Honor your free will by choosing to acknowledge your desire for a break and a change, even if it's only temporary. Right now, your soul desires freedom. By removing restrictions, you can move in any direction. Feeling trapped or burdened by family affairs? I guess maybe. There's that eight of swords. Must have been the other one. Anyway, you are definitely trapped and burdened. No doubt. Feeling trapped or burdened by family affairs, responsibility, finance, relationships, and or career choices can sometimes make us feel suffocated. Your soul is trying to release you from commitments as you yearn for your freedom. And there is a commitment that you are being released from. We talked about this at the beginning of this month, number three. You are being released from a commitment, like it or not. Your soul is trying to release you from commitments as you yearn for the freedom to make your own choices. Breaking away from old attachments and responsibilities, your soul is asking you to be playful and to have some fun. New people. Let's, get, let's uh, read that one. New people. Community. Belonging, the tribe. Community, belonging, being seen and understood by the others. Like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. This card signals a new affi affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging or of kinship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are are in a learning community where you share your love of education regardless of its form or focus your community brings you joy you will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader no matter your position in the tribe your presence is needed you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. And there are times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the, to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of the dance. Yet you are being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. I feel like you have somebody new that comes in the month before. And and you might have an opportunity to move with this person or go someplace else with this person or whatever. But in order to do that, you've got to leave whoever it is or whatever situation it is that you've been hanging on to behind. And that's a big choice. It's like those people that you've been hanging on to, those aren't your people. Some of them are, yes, but some of them are. You got you got a new group, new people here. There's new people. New people coming into your life. 
in the next three months. It's a, it's a big month of community for you. New community, new place, new life, new people. But you can't, you can't bring the baggage with you. That's why you have to sever ties. You, you can't bring it with you. You cannot. That's what the fool is. That's what the devil was. That is the five of swords reversed. You have to sever ties. You have to sever ties. And I think that you guys are having a really hard time doing it. You might think, you know, I don't have to sever ties. You don't have to. If they're filling you up with bullshit and they don't support you. Yeah, you do. You don't need that drama in your life. If you hold on to drama, it will only bring more drama. Anyway, I feel like month number three, the universe is going to step in. And they're going to give you that clean slate that you have kind of like been rejecting. You've been rejecting it. You've been trying to stop it from happening. It's like, no, you're, you're moving. You're moving. You're going someplace else. This burden you've been carrying, this heavy weight, we're going we're gonna to help you with this. You don't have the strength. You can't persevere. You can't restrain yourself. You're not strong enough. Yes, you are. Good luck.